Hey guys, it's Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I hope your weekend was great. And today is a story time. As you saw by the title, kind of serious, kind of not. Um, disclaimer, more for entertainment than, oh my gosh, you poor thing. Okay. Uh, yes, this really happened. And also disclaimer, any kids watching this, I don't want you to go out and do this. Um, remember, I'm old as hell. I grew up in a different time, in a different place. And at that time, we handled things differently than things are handled today. If you are mugged, you always give them what they want. Your life is not worth doing the stupid thing that I did. Let's go on with the story. So this happened about, uh, I think it was around seven years ago, eight years ago. So I was 41, 42. I was in my early 40s. And at that time, um, because my weight journey, my entire life has been a roller coaster. I go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down because I want to do everything easy and I never wanted to put all the work into it. So um, at this time, I was um, going for these power walks with a friend of mine. Um, and she lived um, about maybe 15, 20 minute walk from where my husband and I lived. So it was broad daylight. Her and I had gone for our walk in the morning and I was making my way home. Now, picture this. At this time, I was well, well, well over 200 pounds. I was obese. And I <laughs> wore a fanny pack, which inside I kept the keys to the house my cigarettes, don't judge me, and um, a bank card, okay? Now, I'm walking home, and it's a beautiful day, and I'm minding my own business. I'm sweaty. There's a slight breeze. Everything's going great. I'm feeling good about myself, and... You know, like you get a feeling that you're not alone because this is about 1030 in the morning and I turn around and I see these two women walking behind me. Now, they're quite a bit back and they were very dirty and something in my head said this is not right. And guys, whenever you get that kind of an instinct, don't think about it. Just run. I didn't do that. So I said, Tina, you're being stupid. It's 1030 in the morning. Please, you're fine. So I just continue walking. So all of a sudden, I hear it happened so fast. The, the pounding on the pavement of running shoes. And then all of a sudden, I have this girl, this woman on my back. One arm over here and the other one plowing me in the side of my head. And the other one... <laughs> is trying to unhook my fanny pack. I lost my mind. Everybody has fight or flight. I have, I am going to kill you, not literally, but I, I just saw red. I grabbed this woman by the hair. Okay. Now, 
understand I am extremely clean. I do not like sand. I don't like dirt. I like, I don't garden without gloves. I don't like when I eat and I get stuff under my nails. I, I hate it. I put my hand in this hair and it was slippery and it had particles. I lost it. Pulled her around. Now I'm angry. Not only am I angry because you hit me and you jumped on my back and you're trying to steal from me. Now I'm angry because my hand smells like I shoved it in the ass of a cow and pulled it out. I'm angry. I hit her. <laughs> I did. I punched her and she fell down. And then the other one that was still trying to get my fanny pack punched her in the back of the head. And she fell down. Now, you think now I have the opportunity to run. Did I run? No. Did I yell? Yes. Do you know what my stupid ass yelled? Come on. Let's do this. These two women were high on something. They could have killed me for a house key a bank card, and a pack of smokes. Think on that for a minute. Mental. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Married woman. Mother of one. Come on. Let's do this. Like I am in a Rocky movie. Like... I'm a Rambo. Who in the hell do I think I am? These two girls suddenly realized this bitch is insane. They start to run. Perfect opportunity for me to book at home. No, like a psycho, I am running down the street. What's the matter? Are you scared? Come on, let's finish this. I realize halfway down the street, one, I'm out of breath. These biatches turn around and want to fight me. Now I'm tired. I don't have the energy because I smoked and I'm well over 200 pounds and I've ran an entire block. Why? Because I'm stupid and I'm angry. Two. <laughs> Again, they could have killed me. So all of a sudden I realized the stupidity and I'm like, what are you doing? Run home. So I did. I get home and I'm bruised a little bit. Not terrible, but a little bit. This is where I made the second mistake. In my mind. Because the first person that sees me is my son. Proud moment. No. And... My son is like, what happened? I'm in tears and I'm like, I'm going to prison. I, I am going to jail. My son is like, what happened? So I told him at this time, my son's a teenager. And I told him and I said, 
I, I can't call the police because they're going to arrest me. I, I beat up these two women and I said in my hand and ass of a cow and dirty and I'm, and I'm bawling and my son starts to laugh. He thinks this is hilarious. And I realized this is not quality parenting. And I explained to my son, you don't understand. I should have just gave them the thing and then ran. Like I didn't handle this properly, son. This is not what you do. He's howling. We go in the house and I call my husband at work. I said, I have been mugged. And this is the scenario. My husband comes home. And he says, we should call the police. And I said, no, because I'm going to go to jail. I beat up these women like it's not right. I, and he says, no, but honey, you were defending yourself. And I said, see, but defending yourself is not, come on, let's do this. Defending yourself is mm, and running away, okay? Like doing what you need to do to get running to safety. Side note, nobody in this neighborhood came to the door. Nobody bothered to give a hand. I'm loud. That was not good. And by the by, second time in my life that's happened. So the long and the short of it is, if you're ever mugged, don't do what I did. Second, if you're ever mugged, scream as loud as you can. <laughs> so that somebody hears you and second of all do what you need to do to save your life but make sure you call the police okay there is no fanny pack there is no key there is no pack of smokes of all the things that i was doing okay there is nothing no material thing that is worth your life I have learned my lesson. I always, always call the police now. And please use this story as just a funny story and not as something you should do because it's not. Okay, so guys, that was my story time. I have a feeling I'm going to get raked over the coals in the comments below, but this is my life. You guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Love you like mad. Bye for now.